Young. Dr. Zuma, how are you doing? I am fine. Good. What are you doing today? We're doing the smoke laser test. Blow into that little pipe for me. <laughs> ah! You have, you have a pair of excellent lungs, Doctor, oh. but check this. Taking a lead from Dr. Zuma's anti-smoking drive, we set up our hidden cameras at the smoking counter of ShopRite Triumph. I was an official from the Department of Health, and Desmond pretended to be the controversial Dr. Zuma. Armed with our breathalyzer, our handmade smokealyzer, a very thick injection needle, and a fake letter from the Department of Health. We were ready to bow over I'll our keep first those victim. For you in the meantime, the smokes, I'll keep them for you here at the table. You have heard, I uh, presume, about Dr. Skozana Zuma's anti smoking campaign, okay? Mm -hmm. You wouldn't like to do just a quick uh, test for me? Like just blowing to, I just want to read the capacity of your lungs, the liter capacity. I'm going to sterilize this for you, so we go. <gasps> that is reasonably healthy pair of lungs. I'll sterilize that for you. Perfectly pure sterilizing water. And all you have to do is blow into this thing for me and see how far you can lift it. With no, a quick flick of my finger, no, I restricted the airflow through the tube, making it virtually impossible for the poor lady to get a healthy no, reading. No, goodness gracious me. Well, lady, I'm terribly sorry to have to inform you today that due to the condition of your lungs, really, I cannot, I cannot let you have a packet of cigarettes. Well, I bought my cigarettes and I'm going to take my cigarettes. No, no, unfortunately, I can't let you take your cigarettes. Unfortunately, it's, it's government rules and regulations, and I only work and represent the government, you understand? You know what we're going to do with these? We're going to take them and throw them right onto a fire and burn them forever and ever. I want my money back. No, no, but they just got nothing to do with that little lady. This is my responsibility, unfortunately. I'm Would... sorry, I haven't just spent 29 rand on a packet of cigarettes. I'm taking my cigarettes. Could I possibly introduce you into the new Chiron injection, which would kill you from smoking forever? If I prick this needle into your skin, I promise you that you will never, never smoke again. Could I do that for you? It's just a little injection. Would you like to have it? It's good. It was at this point in time that we sent in Dr. Zuma. If you don't smoke, uh, Dr. Good afternoon. Do you Are know Dr. Ready? Zuma? Hello. She's on a routine call today herself. Could you bend over? Just uh, We're just going to stick it in there, basically. You, are you willing to take the injection, lady? Yes, fine. OK, can but it's going to be a hurt a bit. Can we do it just a little bit private? Yeah, we must stand back. Stand, we must stand back with a stick needle. OK, you just stand there. I just need a little bit of a run in. Just stand there. Are you crazy? No, just stand. Yes, I've got to. It's a very thick needle. Okay, just stand. Stand like this. Okay, no, just. I just need a little bit of a run in. Just stand there. And if you, if you just. It can tell me who I am, huh? Have a close look. Hmm. I'm Leon Chist, and yeah. I caught you. I said, <laughs> <you man. laughs> Sorry, sir. What is this you're smoking? Oh, I'm sorry. i got to take it. Uh, I represent the Department of Health. You know Dr. Nskosazana Zuma? Luister go. Kijk, meneer. Meneer, ga me nou een beetje iets vertellen van Dr. Zuma. Ja? Waar was hij al die jaren? Hoe lang rook ik nou? Laat jij me nou komen vertellen, ik mag niet rook niet. Ja, maar luister nou, je zit een mooie week. Dat is verkeerd, dat is verkeerd. Ik kan niet luister daar aan die man, dat is baie verkeerd. Ik rook al oor die 50 jaar. Rook ik. Ja. Nu moet ik zo maar sigaret net zo kom los. Dan zeg ik dat mijn stupid. Nee, nee, maar dat is beter voor jou, mijn maat. Al die jaren, mijn opa het gerook, mijn opa groeit het gerook. Hij het niks meer keer nie, hij het al nagelewe tot hulle. Dat is een ziekte doodgegaan, het niet van sigaret doodgaan nie. Blaas net gauw van my, zo aan die pijpie. Ja, blaas niks nie, ek sê niks nie. Ek het my sigaret gekoop, waarom verkoop hulle sigaret? Nie he, maar kijk, hulle het al gesê. Ja, ek kan my niks sê nie, kijk meneer, gee net my pakkie sigaret, laat ek uitgaan. Ek het nie gekom vir moeilikheid nie. Luister, dis dokter... Ek stel nie belang nie, maar gee net my donnerse sigaret sma. Luister gauw die sê. Kijk hier so, meneer, moet nie laat ons betleen nie man, asjeblief. Ik is niet klinken. Oké. Okay. Ik wil geen cigaret. Maar ik wil dat iemand van Dr. Zuma ontmoet. Dr. Zuma, 
Waar vind je op kans? Dat is hij, dat is nog de zoom. Je kan betaald worden. Je breekt mijn sigaret, je kan betaald. Je kan betaald en ik zal mijn geld zoeken. Luister, luister. Ik kan mijn geld die man hier. Je breekt mijn sigaret. Je zet het zweerde. Meneer, je moet niet betaald worden. Je moet niet betaald worden. Dat is een vrouw hier. Je moet niet betaald worden. Je moet niet betaald worden. Je moet niet betaald worden. Look, I can be just as rude. All right, you come here, you sell me cigarettes. I can be just as rude. Don't scream at me. Go and die. It's nothing to do with you, man. You also go and die. You also gonna die. You are freckled already. You think you gonna love what? You are freckled already. Hey, you gonna die? Look at you. You are dead already, man. Then we showed him the camera. Everything was forgiven, and he gave us a smile as broad as the Grand Canyon. I can't get rid of me, bro. Desert. 